I'm, I hold Alberta Health Services accountable. I hold, I hold that. Um, we, we, we gave them a, bl a lump sum of money and said, run health care for us. And we were told, let the ex experts be in charge. They've got it all figured out. They developed integrated partnerships across the country with their uh, public, the med chief medical officers of health. Um, they also have their own COVID scientific committees that were giving advice to government. And I think that um, to be fair to, to Premier Kenny, he was a brand new government coming in, brand new leader. He'd been focused on federal issues for most of his career. He's brand new in health. And they were already beginning to see that they had problems in health. But then 10 months into his mandate, he gets hit with a global pandemic. And he's looking around, seeing what the rest of the world is doing. And these guys are all saying, we're the experts, we know what we're doing. And so he trusted them. Um, I think that when uh, the government fired Verna Yu, that was pretty clear um, that we need a new leadership and a change of direction. And I think that to the, the fact that the premier lost his position shows that it was an error when, um, when vaccine exemptions or vaccine mandates came in. So I think that there has already been that uh, the ultimate accountability is the, 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 the leader at the top who was ultimately responsible for making that decision is not there anymore. A couple of his close allies in making that decision, they're also taking a back seat. Um, there are others who have uh, been speaking openly about how they were fighting behind the scenes and I appreciate the fact that they did do that. But rank and file MLAs really didn't have a role in making these decisions and that's one of the problems. That's one thing we're fixing is that we're changing our policy making process so that MLAs know our direction of government right from the beginning and they get to tell us right from the beginning if we're going in the right direction rather than announcing the policy and then bringing them in at the end. So that's going to, I think, solve a lot of problems. But um, I must tell you, I, I, I believe that Alberta Health Services is the source of a, a lot of the problems that we've had. They signed a, some kind of, of a partnership with the World Economic Forum that right in the middle of, um, of the pandemic. We've got to address that. Why in the world do we have anything to do with the Alberta World Economic Forum? That's got to end.